All right, we're going to go to mat number 12. Now Nicholas Marigali versus Demetrius Souza. Marigali, collar grip, blue kimono, collar and sleeve, pulling guard right away. De La Hiva posture, grabbing the pant. Demetrius shucking that leg pant down, or trying to. Two matches for Nicholas so far today, two submissions. Demetrius is a pan champion, world silver medalist, Brazilian national champion, very high level opponent in his own right. Nicholas now looking to work that single leg X position, switching between going for that far pan grip. Yeah, Nicholas is, uh, once he gets this motion in that transition between De La Hiva to single and to, you know, saddle in all these different positions, it's really, really hard to stop him, especially in the gi. Yeah, Nicholas very deep under the hips here of Demetrius Souza. Very strong sweeping position. Now he's feeding that lapel. That's a very interesting yeah. grip switch. Maybe it'll help him pass that leg over his head and maybe attack the back. Nicholas has some incredible back attacks as well. Setting up that sit up position now. Trying to get to trying to keep Demetrius' hands on the mat. Look, he's gonna extend his legs at some point and try to sit up to complete. Demetrius doing a good job of, of just, you know, maintaining his base, using that flexibility in his legs, and not really getting stretched out, and then uses the opportunity to backstep, but Nicholas recovers with the legs. Yeah, it almost feels like Nicholas is just kind of biding his time, waiting for the right moment to explode and come up and get the sweep. Yeah, it, it, it's tricky because, you know, Demetrius has his, his base out, his feet are on the mat, his hands are on the mat, so if Marigali removes his feet, to try to push Demetrius one way or another, that also leaves an opening for Demetrius to backstep or try to escape. So that, hence, Marigali going to the lapels, putting the leg over the head instead, but again, opened up a little bit of play here and changing position once again. Beautiful step over, pass there by Demetrius Souza, gets sucked right back into the guard of Marigali. Marigali's just able to recover so so suddenly, it's just like, you don't even see it, but it's like you blink and he's back to his favorite position right away. Yeah, Demetrius did a great job of disengaging from that X-Guard, but like you said, Nicholas just gets right back into another one of his A-game positions, this De La Hiva X. Does a great job of stretching people out and sweeping from there, too. Demetrius uh, getting a little higher up on the head there, but He's got to watch the back oh, take the of Marigali. Beautiful transition from that Deli Vax yeah. to the back. Use the Deli Vax to extend the legs out, extend the hips away to expose the back. Marigali gets to the back now. One hook in, gets the two points for establishing the back position off the sweep. Again, just brilliant jujitsu by Nicholas Marigali. And when he gets these positions, it is hard to get Nicholas to take a step backward. He likes to progress forward with his jujitsu, and you can see him already working on the collar grip here, kind of playing that dilemma game with the second hook and the choking hand. Shades of uh, the match with Roberto Jimenez. Marigali's got the hand in the collar, looking to finish the collar choke on Demetrius Souza. Demetrius doing a good job defending, but Marigali yeah, gets in the same up. position again. He's got the gets choke, the he gets the submission. Beautiful job. Three for three for Nicholas Marigali today in the Black Belt Open class. He called it. Marigali's on fire today. He, he came out here with a purpose to put on a show, and he's doing it. He's, he's showing what high-level jiu-jitsu is in the gi, that it can be super entertaining when the right people are doing it. And I think... Uh, it's really, what really fascinating with me, with Marigali is, is that in the heavier divisions, it's kind of rare to see um, guard players such as Nicholas or using the specific guards that Nicholas does. There's only a handful of guys that were really successful at a high level. A lot of the, you know, top level guys were more passers and, you know, smashers and stuff. But Nicholas's guard is amazing. He uses it to get to the back. 
He can lasso, he can triangle, he can do pretty much everything. And what's even scarier, he's getting better at judo, his takedown yeah. defense, everything about, you know, his whole game is just getting better and better. So Marigali, three for three, as we mentioned, looking to go into the finals. He's going to be in the finals against Eric Muniz, rematch of the 2022 World's Open Class Final, where Nicholas got the win in that one. But this is a match everyone, I think, wanted to see coming into it. And we've got a great female Open Class Final, too. The other, I think on the female side, that's the match everyone wanted to see. Absolutely. Anna Carolina Vieira, Gabriele Pisania. we got the replay now of Nicholas attacking the back, setting yeah. his hand in the collar, getting yeah. that submission over Demetrius Souza. Use that De Heva axe to extend the legs, get the hips away. When the hips are away, the back is exposed. Took the back, gets the hand on the collar, and gets a submission like Marik Ali is known to do.